So The Sims team recently did a live event and they revealed a lot of cool stuff for The Sims 4. Obviously we know now The Sims 4 is free. In this live event they actually confirmed that there will be two brand new expansion packs coming and they gave us a very 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 quick overview of those. All we got was some build buying cast objects shown in the video. We haven't actually really been shown that much in terms of gameplay as of yet unfortunately but we do know that there are two new expansion packs coming. As well as a cast and build buy they also showed us two brand new worlds. As you can see from the screenshots here they could literally be anything. One of them appears to actually look like a city world which is really cool. As of yet we just don't know what these worlds will be. We're gonna have to wait and see but they may be a link to the brand new expansion packs coming. The build buy could literally be anything like we genuinely have no idea. It looks very plain and beige maybe countryside looking. Kind of looks like everything else we have in The Sims 4. In the screenshot in the bottom left for the cast there seems to be an object with dentures in a cup. Does that mean we're getting a dentistry career we're gonna have to wait and see but it looks like we're getting some new women's underwear and we're getting a chair and we're getting a very cheap tress of drawers and we're getting some storage boxes could these be hints to the two new kits coming out we're gonna have to wait and see they also express that as well as these two new packs and the monthly updates they will be giving us sims delivery express drops every single month if you don't know those express drops are just like tiny little bits of free content normally build by or cast that they add they also hinted that we may be getting Getting babies in The Sims 4. Right now babies in The Sims 4 are technically objects, they're not actually proper life stage. They also showed us a very very tiny video clip of a baby crawling guys and they showed a baby crib. It is official we're getting babies in The Sims 4. This may be a game changer. That's half of the way there to The Sims 4 being an alright game because we still need cars but babies are a good start. Another bloody huge announcement. Mods are now being officially integrated into The Sims 4. What I mean by that now if you want to download mods for The Sims 4, you actually have to go on different links, on different websites, they're not official. The Sims team have partnered with a company called Overwolf and that's basically to make mods officially available through the game. It will kind of work in a very similar way to the Steam Workshop in that it's very much integrated. This will mean that you'll never ever ever have to worry about updating your mods. It will all do it automatically. This honestly is a game changer for mods and CC. Of course this is bad news for modders who do put their mods behind a Patreon on paywall. It's also bad news probably for our not mods like Wicked Whims but we're gonna have to see what's gonna happen with those. Hopefully they will still be available by the traditional means. This brand new Steam Workshop style thing for Sims 4 mods will be called Curse Forge. Already Twisted Mexi is a part of this who is a very big mod creator in The Sims 4 who makes build by mods. Little Dika is another one who is gonna be a part of this. I would admit downloading mods for The Sims 4 is very difficult and very primitive when you look at other modern games so I'm really really excited excited for this. I do recognize from you guys comments that sometimes downloading mods can be really difficult especially when there's a brand new update for The Sims 4 and all of the mods break. That's one of the main reasons why I personally don't really use mods that much but with this update I probably will use them a lot more and you guys will too and I think it's really really great that The Sims team are actually acknowledging modders and CC creators. Obviously there was a little bit of controversy a few months ago with people pulling their mods and CC behind paywalls so it looks like they've taken an initiative on that. I know, I know, I know it's going to come with some controversy because some players will want to keep it behind a paywall. Controversial opinion, I don't think that mods and CC should be behind a perma paywall, perma, but it is generally respected by the Sims team and a lot of people in the Sims community that having a temporary, for example, two week paywall is okay. So I'm not really sure how that's going to work with Curse Forge, whatever this Curse Forge is. Weirdly, they've also announced there's going to be a brand new single coming out by the singer Anita, where she's actually singing it in Simlish. They showed us a sneak peek of the music video with the Sims 4 iconic vibrating heart bed. Does that mean we may also be getting the heart bed in the Sims 4 in an update? Who knows, but that's there. And now it's time for the biggest announcement. The Sims 5 has been confirmed kind of, but it's not called The Sims 5, it's called Project Renee. They stressed in the live stream that this is very, 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 very early access and we're getting a very early sneak peek. The Sims 5 will not be out for years, years, years and years. But what they did express about The Sims 5 is we will be having significantly better build tools, including a color wheel, including an axis rotating thing that looks really, really cool where you can place cushions on sofas. It looks very complex and that's not all. They also announced that we are 
are going to be getting multiplayer in this game. That means they're testing technology where you may be actually able to build with your friends on some kind of multiplayer build project, which is insane. We all knew that EA were going down this multiplayer path, but we didn't exactly know what it would be like. So this is really exciting and big news right now. In addition to that, they have said that this will be playable on all devices, which means that it will be available on mobile and PC. In other words, you may be able to just play this new Sims game on your phone, but then transfer to PC. They've suggested that there's been a lot more collaboration between the Sims mobile team and the Sims 4 team, which I believe is why. Honestly, I don't know how I feel about that. In order to make it work on both PC and mobile, surely there's going to have to be lots of graphical downgrades in order to make that work. So I'm very skeptical at this stage, but as they said, it is apparently years in development. We won't see it for literally years. But hey, we kind of got a Sims 5 announcement and we got two brand new expansion packs announced. Now, I'm not going to lie. I am a little bit confused why they didn't give us even more details about the future expansion packs. I'm sure they're going to be doing that soon, usually based on the Sims roadmaps and their timeline. Usually around this time, they'll announce either an expansion pack or game pack plus two new kits. We have already had a couple of images leaked of the two new kits, so I'm sure they're going to be announcing those soon. And hopefully the brand new pack coming will be announced officially as well and when it's going to be released. It's expected that when this brand new expansion pack does come out soon, it will also come with the babies update, which guys, honestly, I just can't believe it. Like they've literally finally, <laughs> they finally listened. How long is it? Like eight, nine bloody years this game has been out and they finally bloody done it. Sims team, it is still too late. It is still too late. You have done it way too late. Bella late the nether, some people say. I say you should have done it originally, but there we go, we got it now. So in a couple of months, we'll never be able to complain about it ever again. Unless of course they're buggy and glitchy. We're gonna have to wait and see on that one. I do think it was a very strange business move for the Sims team to announce the Sims 5 in very, 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 very early access because major game developers never ever do this. They only ever really show things when they're at least in beta right now. They very much stress that it's not even in beta, like they're literally just testing some random things. I personally, as a game developer, would be very, very scared of doing this because I wouldn't want players to think, oh, I won't bother buying new packs because they're releasing new games soon. So from a business perspective, I was honestly very surprised, but I am very grateful that they have given us this early access look. And at least it wasn't a leak this time. Sim seems are usually terrible for leaks, but this time actually nothing got leaked before the summit. But hey, at least we've got more packs to be upsold for the Sims 4 for the meantime. And we got some new free updates coming, which is great. I do definitely think that one SDX drop every single month is a lot. So I feel like the Sims team are really stepping up their game with the Sims 4. It looks like they've taken a real brutal look at Sims' feedback and they're actually trying to integrate it all into the game. This is really exciting because it could mean good things for the Sims 4 if they continue to take on this feedback and actually improve some things in the game already. Obviously, if you put a cherry on top of a pile of poo, it's still a pile of poo. In that respect, I will say The Sims 4 needs a lot done to it in order to be improved still. I hate to sound like a negative Nancy, but at the end of the day, there are still a lot of things wrong with not only the base game, but a lot of the packs too. To be honest, I was hoping that they'd address some of the issues with the older packs that just genuinely do not work and some base game features that are very, very flawed and broken. But what I'm hoping is with a brand new wave of players coming into The Sims 4, that there'll be a new fresh eyes into the game and more impressionable minds and EA will obviously have their ears open. So hopefully The Sims 4 is not all doom and gloom and it will be making significant progress. I mean, the babies update is already a massive progress update. In terms of this brand new Sims game that they're releasing, I will admit the customization shown in The Sims 5 work in progress Project Renee trailer looks very similar to Paralives. Have The Sims team copied them? I do not know. I don't want to say for legal reasons, but it does look very reminiscent of the Paralyzed built mode. So are the Sims team leeching off that? I cannot say, but it seems like at least the existence of other live sim games are pushing them. Maxis for years have been the only people who have made a live sim game being the Sims. So now there's more competition. It seems like the Sims team are pushing themselves to do more stuff, which is absolutely great. The Sims just always need competition to push it forward. So this 
is really exciting. Now, one really interesting thing about the brand new Sims 4 specifications for PC is that before it only required 25 gigabytes of disk space, whereas now it requires 50 gigabytes and otherwise double. What does that mean? That means we're probably gonna get a lot more stuff to require 50 gigabytes worth of free space. Like that is a lot. And it indicates that the Sims 4 may be getting some really, really big updates that are gonna require a lot of space on your PC for slash hardware if you have consoles. So this is just a random guess, but I feel like there is gonna be a lot more content coming that's gonna be really surprising for us. Make sure you subscribe to keep updated with all the Sims 4 news. I'm always the first person to upload it. Check me out. Anyway, see you in the next video.